The internet is littered with pictures of disabled Russian tanks. Not only a significant number of T-72s and T-80s have been taken out of action, but at least 15 T-90s have also been destroyed, as per Oryx, a project that records independently verifiable losses throughout the conflict. It's a bit surprising, since the T-90 is considered to be one of the most dominant tanks in the world, and Russians have successfully exported it to several countries. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the much-vaunted Russian T-90 tanks are getting neutralized in Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. The T-90 main battle tank, MBT, is an advanced version of the T-series of Russian tanks, offering increased firepower, mobility, and protection. It's manufactured by Earl Vogonzovod, a Russian original equipment manufacturer in Nizhny Tagil, Russia. It entered service with the Russian Army in 1992. The T-90 has a liquid-cooled V-84MS, 618-kilowatt, 840-horsepower, four-stroke V-12 piston engine. The T-90 tank is protected by both conventional armor plating and ERA, explosive reactive armor. It's fitted with the Stora-1 defensive aid suite which is produced by Electronic Torg of Russia. The T-90 armament includes one 125mm 2A-46M smoothbore gun that's stabilized in two axes and fitted with a thermal vision. While the specifications and capabilities are good, it's not indestructible. Let's check three reasons for its below-expected performance. The key weapon being used to engage the modern Russian main battle tank by Ukrainian forces is the American-supplied FGM-148 Javelin. The Javelin's 127mm shaped charge warhead can penetrate about 600 to 800 millimeters of rolled hardened armor RHA. With this kind of power, Javelin will fail to penetrate a decent modern tank's armor, but Javelin has a trick up its sleeves. What it lacks in power, it makes up for in tactics. Javelin has a unique mode, the top attack mode, by which it doesn't hit the frontal or side armor of a tank, but it targets the top armor, which tends to be much thinner. The missile has gyroscopes and gimbals that enable it to nosedive almost vertically onto the infrared signature it was locked onto. Many tanks, like T-90, have explosive reactive armor to defeat this. An ERA is designed to prematurely ignite the shaped charges used by missiles and disperse the explosive power away from the tank. But Javelin overcomes this defensive measure by using a tandem charge warhead which has a pre-charge that takes out the ERA layer before the main charge is engaged. T-90 
tanks are protected by Stora 1 system. Stora 1, meaning curtain, is an electro-optical active protection system or suite for tanks designed to disrupt the laser designator and laser rangefinders of incoming anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs. It's a soft kill or passive countermeasure system. The Stora 1 has four key components. One, a bank of forward firing grenade launchers or dischargers is mounted on either side of the turret, which can fire grenades dispensing an aerosol smoke screen opaque to infrared light. Two, a laser warning system with precision and coarse heads. Three, a control system comprising a control panel, microprocessor, and manual screen laying panel. This processes the information from the sensor and activates the aerosol screen laying system. Four, two infrared lights, one on each side of the main gun, continuously emit coded pulsed infrared jamming when an incoming ATGM has been detected. The Stora system can locate the area within 3.5 to 5 degrees where the laser originated from and automatically turn the main gun to it so that the tank crew can return fire and so that the stronger frontal turret armor is facing it. But as evident, the system has not worked as theorized and a lot of optimization still needs to be done to perfect it. Research from the Modern War Institute at West Point points out Stora has no effect on javelins or recoilless rifles. When targeting a vehicle with Stora, gunners using the ITAS improved target acquisition system should never directly laser the tank with the range finder instead of targeting a patch of ground three vehicle lengths away. This will allow the gunner to avoid being detected by Stora. No tank is foolproof. They need proper infantry and aerial support for effective operation. Russians have made tactical mistakes, like moving tanks through highways, which expose them to easy detection and being ambushed from roadside hideouts. It's hard for any tank crew to spot an anti-tank or RPG gunner who's hiding behind a pile of rubble, and in such places, dismounted infantry plays a crucial role. In many videos, it can be seen that there's no such approach taken. It's also evident from the examination of several footage that Russian columns of troops moved forward beyond the reach of their own air defense cover, which exposed them to attacks. Several times Russian convoys have even been ambushed by Turkish-made Bayraktar TB-2 drones, which should have been taken out in advance by Russian aircraft or air defense systems. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.